What's up guys, this is The Honest Outlaw here, and today we're gonna be doing another quick unboxing. Now, this week, or this month rather, we're gonna be looking at a lot of first shots unboxing videos because about every year now for the past three years, I have sold a bunch of guns to buy a bunch of new guns, and I've done the same thing this year. I've recently bought four or five, maybe even six new guns. Right now, we're gonna look at the Beretta M9, which I actually think is pretty funny because it's the opposite of what YouTubers should be doing. YouTubers during SHOT Show should be buying the new hotness, all the cool stuff, everything like that, so I decided to go super old school and buy a gun the military essentially just got rid of. The reason why I did that is because of opportunity. I saw this beauty right here at my local gun shop for about $450, and I just could not pass that up. I've wanted one for a long time. Uh, to compare to other guns that I have, for example, to keep them in the uh, keep them in the rotation and see how it compares to stuff like a SIG and things like that. Now I have shot a Beretta M9 before, rather a Beretta 92 before, but I've never really owned one and had a lot of trigger time on it. Maybe 100 rounds here, 50 rounds there. Well, I wanted to get a bunch of rounds down it and see what all the fuss is about with this pistol. Between this and the SIG P226, uh, they're basically the only two very popular, world-renowned semi-automatic pistols that I've never owned, and I want to own them all eventually, so I picked this guy up. Now, it didn't have these cool lock grips on it when I bought it. I uh, saw those and ordered them on like two-day shipping or something like that and put them on there because I figured this guy needed some color, just came with the standard black grips. It is a fairly cheap gun. It, not cheaply made, but it's cheap in price, so you don't expect to have super awesome G10 grips right out of the box. Now, other than price, I got it because the military used this for years and years and years. Now, although it does have some people that dislike it, it also has a lot of people that really, really love it. Some people even say it's the best semi-automatic pistol ever made. So, I had to try one out. Now, it fits my hand pretty well right off the bat. Uh, the single action trigger is fantastic. Double action trigger, not so much, not in comparison to something like my CZs, but it could be tuned and maybe it will. Now, one of the reasons why I stood away from the uh, Beretta series for a long period of time would be the safety decocker, and I've heard that you can change that over, so that's probably what I'll be doing. I'm not a huge fan of manual safeties. I do like them on 1911s and CZs because I use it as a ledge to hold the pistol down, and on those pistols, I basically use those for gamer pistols anyway, so that really doesn't bother me. However, this is just a poorly placed safety, in my opinion. It's kind of a design flaw that I see there, although it doesn't really bother me quite as much because it's simply just a slightly different manual of arms. If you're gonna be reloading the Beretta, just follow the Larry Vickers model and pop it in and either use your, support, or your firing hand or you can use your support hand as you come over. Now, Larry Vickers says to use your support hand because people have a tendency, if they're uh, using their dominant hand to release a slide, to hold the slide, and then your slide doesn't lock back when you're empty. I would agree with that. I, you could change your technique slightly and that wouldn't be an issue, but he knows probably more about it than I do. So you either follow that way, either way, just use a slide release and you're good to go. But all in all, this is a beautiful pistol, $400. It has been reliable so far. It was extremely accurate. The first time shooting, I took it out to 50 yards, started plinking away, no problem at all. I really do like the uh, the IDOT set of sights that came on it. Now, I know they're not night sights, but that still is pretty cool. Uh, I wish it had a rail, but these pe classic pistols didn't. I know you can buy the new version with the rail, but it also, that pistol just looked kind of ugly. And Berettas, to me, are just classically classically beautiful, and I wanted to stick with that and maybe add a little bit with these grips as well. I'd like to see how this performs. You want to see this in some Versus videos uh, versus some other guns you've seen on my channel, leave them in the comment section below. You want to see it go through the gauntlet, leave it in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe. Please help out your local homeless shelters, and remember to recycle. I'll check you later.